So why do you need an estate account? Hey guys, this is Brad from probateresource.com. We're a real estate solutions company. We specialize in the world of probate and inheritance properties. Uh, we buy houses for cash, or we have a fantastic network of hand-picked real estate agents we work with across the country that are specialists in the probate and inheritance world. So today I'm gonna talk about, I'm here with Mike, uh, Mike is an attorney at one of the firms that I close a lot of deals with uh, here in Atlanta. Um, and uh, Mike, why does an estate need to set up a bank account, a, an estate account for the bank? Why, why do they need to do that? Sure. So um, the two most common types of probate would be if someone dies with a will, which is called, you know, dying testate mm -hmm. or dying without a will when they pass away in testate. And so in those two circumstances, uh, someone is appointed. So if you have a will, an individual may appoint an executor to a will. Mm -hmm. And then without a will, uh, a court may appoint what's called an administrator of the estate. Those individuals, any money that's received, whether it be from a closing or anywhere else, that is not their personal money. They're just acting as a representative for the estate. So they're, they have essentially a fiduciary duty to the estate and any funds received. So therefore you open the estate account, in a lot of ways it's to protect the executor, to protect the administrator, but also it's a way to, uh, uh, for the court to ensure that any monies, any property or what have you that is being handled on behalf of the estate is separated from the executor or, or the administrator. So it's, a, it's to create a, a certain degree of uh, ethical fairness and to make sure that uh, waters aren't getting muddied, muddied, so to speak. So as, as opposed to an executor putting the money in their own personal bank account, they have that separate bank account, the money goes in there, and then any bills that need to get paid, any debts that need to be taken care of, it's all drawn out of the uh, estate account. Great explanation. Yet yeah, more times than not, obviously I've been doing these types of deals for a number of years. And one of the things we always let people know ahead of time is ha have you set up an estate account yet? Uh, because if not, when you get to the closing table, this money has to be wired or a check has to be made out to the estate. It can't be made out to you individually. Even if there's only one heir to the estate, maybe there's only one sole heir, it still has to go to the estate account before it can be dispersed out to the heirs of the estate. Um, and in some cases, obviously, there might be creditors to an estate and that money needs to, has to go to the creditors before the heirs can even get any money from it. Um, Setting up an estate account is actually really easy. I have another video on how to do it. You just need to go to irs.gov and obtain an EIN. I know you guys help people do it all the time. Super simple, pretty much any bank out there can set up an estate account for you. Uh, you just need that EIN and you just need to have your, your probate documents from the probate court that just says like, hey, I'm John Smith, I'm the representative of the estate. I can open up the account for the estate. And if you have those two things, pretty much any bank can open an estate account for you. I appreciate you guys checking out this video. Uh, if you have a property that you need to sell, uh, we do buy properties for cash. We can make an easy, fast cash offer. Um, or if you want to go the traditional route, you feel like you want to maximize every last dollar out of that property, uh, we do have a hand-picked network of real estate agents that we work with all across the country uh, that can help you sell your estate property. They specialize in the probate and inheritance world, so they know what they're doing. If you want to work with our company, uh, visit probateresource.com and go to the website. Uh, there is a form there on the website you can fill out or you can pick up the phone and just call the number there on the website. A member of our team will be happy to discuss your situation and figure out if we're the right fit. So thanks again for checking out this video. I'm Brad from probateresource.com. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.